Hello everyone and welcome to our new video. We are continuing from the last time and working with charts and today's topic will be the high charts and how you can create. So before we continue, please leave a like and also comment in the, in the section below so we will know what to record next. I'm here as always with Alexander hey guys. and we will show you how you can create the high charts. Okay, <clears throat> we'll use the same tables we used uh, for Google Charts. So mm -hmm. it's these four tables, revenues versus expenses, recreational product sales by region, 2012 Summer Olympics medal table, and time spent in holiday season. Um, I'll just show you these tables real quick. So here they are. Mm -hmm. These tables are used in our documentation um, and we are going to create some charts from those tables. So first thing, create a chart. Let's open it up in a new tab here and let's start with this time spent in holiday season. Okay, so the engine is high charts and we can use uh, pie chart, for example, okay. here, and continue. Nope, that's the wrong table. So this is the table that I'm going to use. Um, okay, uh, minimum count columns for this chart type is two. So we're going to select name, and we're going to add let's say travel um, with high charts pie chart uh, you cannot add more than two mm -hmm. uh, columns so all the data needs to be in these two columns here um, we can enable follow table filtering and uh, the row range should remain for uh, all rows so here's the preview of mm -hmm. the chart you can actually change some stuff here. For example, the title can be left aligned right here, but we'll leave it on the center. Um, tool tips, uh, you can change the background color of the tool tip right here. Um, exporting is used only with high charts, so this is not available in any other chart engines. You just need to uh, check this and you will see this box right here. When, you can view in full, full screen, print the chart, download as PNG, JPEG, images, PDF, or SVG. So there's the bonus if you use the high charts library. That's right. That's right. Uh, once again, this export feature only exists with high charts. Uh, you can remove this little thing here, high charts, uh, by clicking this, or you can change it to um, place your own website here. Okay, nice. So when we save the chart, we get the short code and we can add it to the page. Uh, I just copied the short code so you can paste it right here. But you can also um, you can also use the uh, Gutenberg block mm -hmm. to select the high chart. This is also working for Elementor and WP Bakery, right? Yes, of course. Yes, these uh, these blocks are included. So let's remove these. This is an old page, and we'll just add a new chart right here. Select the uh, latest chart that we just created. Update the page, and we can view it now. So here's that chart on the front end. Uh, if you view it in full screen, it shows up literally in full screen. So um, that's one type of charts that we can use. Now let's move to the second table. This one is revenue versus expenses table. So again, let's create a chart. Select the engine to be high charts, set some name. So basically you can use uh, one same table and create uh, different charts from that same table. Yes, of course, we can use the same table 
to create every type of that chart. Exactly right. Exactly right. We, let's use a, a line chart for this table and um, find it right here. So revenues versus expenses, next, and we can include all these columns except for WDT ID, which is basically the row ID. Um, here, in this type of chart uh, where you have line charts, you can actually um, you can actually change the series. So if these are line charts, you can select this one to be a column chart. So they mm -hmm. they are mixed right here. And again, when we save the chart, we are able to um, edit the page and replace this chart. So again, just click on it and update it. Now we can see it on the front end, exactly as you would see it in the back end. So this is a combined column and line chart. Nice, nice. Mm, okay, we can we can do this one as well. So recreation of product can sales. Can we, for example, create from the same table but different chart and enable follow table filtering to see how it will display on the front page? Um, yeah, sure. From the table that we use right here. Yeah. Okay. Um, do you want to use the same chart? Same or? chart. Create a new one. Okay. And see the follow table filtering option when you sort and filter the, to see if the both charts will will change the values. Okay. I don't believe I enabled follow table filtering for this one. Okay, so we can see how we can edit. <laughs> right. Uh, revenues, high charts, follow table filtering. So this one can be a stacked area chart, for example. Okay. We choose the same table. And we enable follow table filtering. So we go to next and save this chart. Okay, so now when we edit the page, we need to add the table to the page. So we're adding the table and it's the revenue table. And then we're adding this new chart we just created. Okay, so update. Let's view the page. Okay, so here's the chart without follow table filtering. Here's the table and this is the chart that follows table filtering. So let's see, let's filter it per headphones. So this one is actually showing only these two values that you can see right here, mm -hmm. but this chart still shows everything because we haven't enabled follow table filtering here. For example, if you delete the, the filter and sort it one column, um, yeah, it should it change the it, chart. Yeah, it changes right here. Okay, nice. Same question like in previous video, if you want to customize it, you need to use uh, chart callbacks. Right. Um, all options in a chart are available right here. So if you want to do something with the chart that's not listed here, you will need to use uh, callbacks, which is uh, under information for, for developers and front-end chart callbacks. And also examples of these callbacks uh, are here, but more examples can be found under support where when you go to um, charts, you can actually see live charts with applied callbacks. Um, right here, for example, how to change the data labels and add a legend to the pie chart in high charts. So you can mm -hmm. see that the labels are missing and the legend is right here. So this is done with this callback. Okay. Thank, thank you, Alexander. You're welcome. Thank you. That's basically it. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and see you in another video. Take care, guys. Bye. Bye-bye.